Hello everyone, welcome back to Connect with Uganda. My name is Ray. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video. So today I'm going to tell you how you can apply for a Ugandan visa if you want to visit Uganda and you are not a Ugandan national. So before we dive into this video, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe, a like the video, a share it with a friend as well. And if you want to buy a, this a really nice t-shirt that I'm wearing, there is a link to the shop in the description. Make sure that you do check it out. I have a variety of very nice designs i'm sure that you're going to find uh, something that you like and if you buy you also have supported my channel and the work that i do so i would really really appreciate that if you pick something from the shop uh, so to begin with i'm going to first tell you countries that are visa exempt when their nationals are traveling to uganda and then if your country is not among the countries that i'm going to read for you you will know that automatically you would require a visa when you're going to visit uganda so the first category of these countries are countries within the east africa African community. East African community is an organization that brings together all the six countries within Eastern Africa to create a free trade area where they can trade amongst themselves without any restrictions. So nationals of Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya and Burundi do not require a visa when they are traveling to Uganda. Another category is Comesa. Comesa means common markets for Eastern and Southern Africa. So this organization has the same interests as the East African community. It brings together 21 countries within Africa to create a free trade area. So nationals from some of these countries will not require a visa when they are traveling to Uganda and those countries include Angola, Eritrea, Malawi, Madagascar, Seychelles, Swaziland, Zambia, Comoros, Mauritius, Zimbabwe and Botswana. Apart from those two categories there are still other countries whose nationals are not required to get a visa when they are trying to visit Uganda. These countries are Antigua, Barbados, Fiji, Grenada, Lesotho, Sri Leon, Solomon Islands, the Grenadines, Vanuatu, Ghana, Cyprus, Bahamas, Belize, Gambia, Jamaica, Malta, Singapore, Tonga, Ireland, and Libya. So those are the countries that are visa exempt, meaning their nationals, when they ever decide to come to Uganda, they won't have to buy a visa at entry. Apart from those nationals from any other country in the world are going to be required to apply for a visa when they are going to visit Uganda. So the Ugandan visa is very easy to get. The first way is you can just apply for it online. You can log into the immigration portal and apply for your visa even before you depart from your home country. So if you ever want to do that, then I'm going to leave for you a link in the description that will lead you to the process of applying for the online visa in Uganda. Second option is to buy a visa at entry. Once you fly and reach Entebbe Airport, which is a national airport, then you're going to be required to buy a visa. A single entry visa is $50. Then there is a multi entry that is six months to 12 months. That will go for a hundred dollars. 24 months would go for $150. And if you want that six months, that would go for $200. But getting a multiple entry mean visa would mean that you are a frequent traveler. You're in and out of the country, then they would feel the need to give you a multiple entry visa. There is also an option for the East African visa that would allow you to visit Uganda, Kenya, and Rwanda, and that one goes for a hundred dollars. Another requirement is the yellow fever card. You'll be required to present this at entry as well. And in regards to the current situation with the pandemic, you're also going to be required to, pre to present your negative COVID test result that was taken within the last 72 hours. So make sure that before you get your flight that's when you should take your covid test immediately it should be a pcr test i know there are different kinds of tests out there but it has to be a pcr test so if you reach interview and your results happen to be more than 72 hours from the time that you took it then it means you're going to be required to take another covid test which is going to cost you more money so you should bear this in mind apart from that uh, uganda is open to visitors and tourists they're allowing them inside the country and of course all the SOPs are in place as well. So uh, that was it for today's uh, video guys if you've learned a thing or two or enjoyed the video then make sure that you do a uh, share a comment in the comment section uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed a uh, like and share as well and of course uh, go uh, get uh, something from the shop I would really really appreciate and thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys on the next video.